I've built a tripod out of seven unstable things. Where in the world is Superwoman today? Hey, New York City again, ow. And sleepy AF. What up everyone, it's your girl, Superwoman, and yes, my face is all dead. Why? Because I just shot for The Daily Show, but we'll talk about that later. And yo, this took two hours, so like, don't get used to it. First, let's talk about travel, because I do that a lot. And I feel like no matter which airline I take, I go crazy, because all airlines seem to suck. Is it just me? Or are airlines the devil? Like, will the good airline please stand up? Now for me, finding a good airline is like finding a straight man at a Britney Spears concert, okay? It's unlikely, because they'll get your hopes up, and then they'll drop the whole, oops, I did it again. I played with your heart. Story time! Now you already know I dislike one particular airline that shall remain unnamed, okay? The friggin' Baltimore the friggin' Airlines, that's right, okay? Rhymes with Air Canada. So I won't even go there. I won't even discuss that. But recently, aka two days ago, I was flying from Trinidad back to LA and I flew with an airline called Spirit Air. I know, right? Like the effing tumbler of airlines. I'm like, okay, this is gonna be great. So I had wonderful expectations, okay? Because I'm like, ah, hello. Oh, who doesn't like spirit? And it was a connecting flight, so I had to do that annoying thing where you have to collect your bag. You know, I, I don't like when people say collect, but you gotta collect your bags. Why do people say that? It sounds like some sad hobby, like you're collecting bags. It's just, it's just, honestly, it's just like a fancy word. I dislike when people say collect things. Oh my God, I'm a douchebag. Makeup has changed me. Get, I had to get my bag and recheck it in because I was going through US Customs. So I have my suitcase, I'm gonna check in, and my friend has his carry-on, and get this, this airline charges $55 to take a carry-on onto the plane and $50 to check a massive suitcase. What is the logic? First of all, I've never even heard of having to pay for a carry-on bag, but for it to be more expensive than a large checked suitcase, I just don't even get it. Casca what? Honestly, this is the same stupid logic when you buy women's clothes. It's like the less material used, the more expensive. The more chances of a nip slip, the more you pay. Who makes these decisions? So you know, we're tired, we're annoyed, we wanna get home, so we reluctantly pay these baggage fees. And then I put my bag on the scale to weigh it, and I know it's gonna be fine because I just got off this first flight and I know it's 50 on the dot. It's gonna be amazing. I'm golden. I'm basically a freaking genius. And you know what this lady says to me? I'm gonna tell you right now what she says to me. This lady's all up in the place like, yeah, it's overweight by 10 pounds. We only allow 40. And I'm like, excuse me, would you, you allow 40? Because every other airline on this planet, and probably Neptune, allows 50. 50 pounds, 23 kgs. That is the standard. I have traveled every airline. Never have I heard differently. It's like you're intentionally screwing people over because you know that these are connecting flights and the first airline, which was cooler and hotter and had a better booty than your airline, okay, did not charge me for this bag. And now you all up in here like, 40 pounds is the limit? You know my bag ain't 40 pounds. You know I overpack. You know I pack for every possible scenario. I don't care if I pack for tropical climate. You know I pack my snow pants. Just in case. So I'm like, bro, are you for real? And she's like, yeah, 40 is the limit for safety reasons. And here's the thing, right? I feel like when any airline tells you about baggage weight, they always have all these valid reasons. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. According to the union, our staff can't carry anything over 40 pounds. It affects the balance of the plane. Our staff members are all hunchbacks from Notre Dame. We just ran out of spirit juice. And then suddenly, paying an extra fee gets rid of all of these reasons. Oh, our staff isn't allowed to carry anything over 40 40 pounds for safety reasons. Unless you pay an additional fee of $25. Like that's how much your spine is worth, okay? All those vertebrae, all those lumbar things you got going on, the thing, you know that part of biology you failed, like all that, that's $25. You are a valued employee. Or you know what? What's that I smell? Oh, the whole thing is BS. Also, did I leave food in my room? I think I left food in my room. God damn it. At this point, I'm straight up annoyed. I'm like, you know what, here, here, take $130, you here. You know what, take my firstborn child, every rumple still skin. <laughs> take everything, take my bloody watch. Look, I don't have watch, you know why? Because they bloody take it. Cut off some of my hair, give you that. And then after paying my life savings, okay, I look up to see this airline slogan that reads, and I quote, save more, spend less. And I'm just like, girl, where? Where is this saving you speak of? There's no saving, I see no saving. You see saving because I see no saving. Okay, there's no saving up in here. This airline is mother effing Mufasa, okay? Nothing is being saved. Simba is crying. I'm gonna be real with you, okay? I don't mind spending money on things that make sense. Like all the things celebrities convince me to buy. But baggage fees, nah. 
And it's not just this airline, okay? I'm not trying to blast this one airline, okay? I've already done that before. Bam, bam, done that. But I feel like these days, all airlines charge you for ridiculous things. Like, this flight didn't have complimentary drinks or snacks. In fact, you had to pay for water. Water! I would rather watch The Notebook five effing times and collect my... Get... Gather my tears in a cup, okay, and drink that then pay five dollars for your devil water Oh, but I can't do that though because there's no screens on this plane. There's no movies. There's no USB ports There's no blankets. There's no soul. This plane has no soul. Oh my god. Oh my god Kevin Hart would be disgusted and thank God nothing went wrong because I feel like if we hit any type of serious turbulence and those oxygen masks had to come down There would be like a little lock over the mouthpiece like swipe your credit card for air and you know me I'm cheap and starboard. I'll breathe out like mm -mm. <gasps> Try to pull a mother effing David Blaine, okay? I'll take my chances. Okay, well, that made me dizzy. That made me. I need, I need to get more oxygen. Okay, we're okay. good. And can we be real? Can we be real? It's so strange how airlines charge you for everything, but when the airline f's up, it's a totally different story. I've had flights delayed for hours and hours, and I've had airlines lose slash break my baggage. And you know what the most I've gotten is? Let me tell you, a $75 voucher. Now explain to me, okay? Explain to me how a $75 voucher for a $900 horrible flight is gonna make up for anything. Can you, can you tell me, Mr. Stupid Airline, which one of your flights cost $75 for me to book with your crappy airline again? Where am I flying for $75? I can't even fly from friggin' Park Place to Boardwalk with $75, okay? I can't even pass go and collect $200. Why am I collecting $200? Honestly, well, I, I am never saying the word collect again. I hate it, I hate it, I hate the word. Get $200. $75 voucher. Yeah, the next time I go check my mail, I'll take a flight down my driver with your $75 voucher. Can't even buy the Wi-Fi on your plane with this voucher because the Wi-Fi is so expensive. And here's the thing about the Wi-Fi as well. You know, it's like, here, pay so much money for a Wi-Fi, except you can't do anything. We don't let you stream or watch videos or transfer large files or really do anything fun. But if you pay this large sum of money for this crappy Wi-Fi, you know, we'll go send a raven to go fetch your emails. <laughs> you bloody stupid! Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please give it a thumbs up. Comment below letting me know about all your experiences. What's your favorite airline? What are your horror stories? Let me know because I want to know this information. I travel so much. Also, yes, I was on The Daily Show today. It's already aired in Eastern Standard Time, but Pacific Standard Time, literally, if you're watching this video, maybe in like an app. Oh, I don't have a watch. I gave it to Spirit Air. But at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time today, in case you're watching this as soon as it comes out, you can watch me on The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. What up, Take Shot Reference? Tomorrow I will also be on the Today Show, which is very, very exciting. So many exciting things going on. If you want to check out my last video, it is right there. You can check out my vlogs right there. And yo, make sure you subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and Thursday. One love, soup woman. That is a wrap and zoop. I'm so tired. I can't.